these majors and with the team changes you can throw the overall stats out the window back in we roll map two underway back her on up yeah you know we've seen this a lot from like phase right having simp go through restaurant right because the defensive setup nowadays is she Early on, it was all about bedroom control. Now it's a lot about middle couches. Watching this cross, because you could just beam someone. So it's about protecting this player. That is your info over towards A. So what offense has been doing, a lot through double R, just trying to find this player. You see Cammy starting to peek on up. Boom. It's exactly that with that first blood. It's like, you, it's like you've been grinding, Joe. <sighs> you know, I, I've, I've played some Call of Duty in my life. I love that. Love that out of you. Now into the three versus three we go. Bands like an elephant just sneaking his way on up. Elephants aren't very sneaky. <laughs> he was trying though. He's just stomping up those steps though. Now trying to get back there. Scraps though. The sneakier of the sneaky elephant battles. Be able to find that one. Now 25 seconds left. Bomb still has to cross. You have a seam in a good position. Love to see him back down there. And there we go. Just going to play his life. Waste the time of Minnesota Rocker. Because the other two players are oh. they're just kind of waiting. They're giving up the bomb plan. His Yuli is 2 HP. So bomb. Looks like it's going to go down. There's the reach out, though. And well, fame. We'll see you later. Hey, get there just in time. I got a little bit sure. nervous. There. I was like, someone help a scene, please. Like, yeah, right. let them get on the bomb. <laughs> but the crossfire gets there. We'll see it from Scraps POV. Dead body, real body. Puts him down. But a nice trade, right? I, I mean, Cammy gets that first blood, but Yuli was there to keep it as a three versus three. If Cammy's able to play his life, maybe back down up, that's when things get interesting. It's a much better situation for Minnesota Rocker. So round two. Nice shot from Yuli and Scraps. Providing four of the kills in that one. Gonna keep an eye on Affer throughout this, see if he can get going, but Yuli nearly instantly greeted by a stun. Cammy is trying to soar forward with the Vaz. And he's been slowed down and he will end up getting pinched out. A team kill does come in. It seems Nay will connect onto Nasty. So you give Rocker a chance in this round behind that team kill. Then Afro is able to find a pick. So now quickly to a two versus two. And what could have been a 4v2 without the team kill. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I mean, Afro is just hunting Scraps down. You're hoping Scraps is just kind of just playing a corner, playing his life. His teammates have B bomb control. They're just trying to hit a flank, but... The timing doesn't work out. Now we're into this 2v2. And well, this could be a tough retake because we know the snakes are going to be in. Getty just going to run out. Sun hit. No trophy. And he might do damage. He's able to pick one. Fame! Another shot in. Comes down to Yuli in Afro. Afro struggling the map. Whoa! One trying to chow here. Not going to happen. Yuli shot on point. 2-0, Raven. He doesn't even throw a snake in. He just pre-fires it. He's like, I'm here. I'm ready to take I him. I am him. Well, 4-0 for Yuli. Yeah. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I didn't sink. What's up? It's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> nice shot so that to close out the round. Afro chance to maybe turn the tides of kind of how maybe where his confidence is within this series, but a tough fight, obviously. <laughs> yeah, if he gets going, <laughs> not then, an easy then who one. knows? I mean, he's doing two right now, but, you know, it's one of those moments you win that one-on-one, -on -one, you're getting pumped up. But the four streak from Yuli, the story thus far. The big stick for Scraps, the story in this round early. Hits the stun, hits the nade. Now a little game of peekaboo. You were playing that earlier with Theo. I was. He's, loving he's that. adorable. I think I think he loves me. Yeah, he, I hope so. We weren't sure. Like I was worried Joe's son might be scared of me because I'm a giant bald man, but he just giggles when I talk because I'm a giant baby too. Love him. Pants with the first blood right through the middle of the map. That just opens up B. He hits it second as well. Oh! What a round out of Pants with straps. Makes this a little bit more doable. Still tough, though. Tim, the snipe in hand. He's gonna find a Trying gun. to find a gun. They're able to do it. That'll be the tack. They throw the wall bang spawn in. Shout out, MC. Can me hit any shots? Yeah, close! Bye-bye, yeah. Afro. Your pain continues, courtesy of Matty. Hit the shots! Bam, wins it. Cammy wins it. So after the lovely wall bang, after that, bang, bang. Rocker take the round. I and didn't think Fame was gonna keep challenging. I thought he was just throwing shoulders, but he just no. kept shooting. He threw the whole shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Laid him out. Absolutely. I think it was just buying time for Cammy to reposition. 
He's able to find that gunfight on the straps with some beautiful shots. But there we go. But that round starts with Bance just taking the chance, going right through the middle with Deddy Popped. Go to Flank Kitchen. Nice round there for Rocker now. See if they can continue to bring it back within this search and destroy. <laughs> so balanced on the side of Rocker, basically. It's two and three, two and two across the board. Going right back to lead. And scraps lead the way in the other end. And yeah, to be we go. Dance back it up here quick. So you've got two players inside with a quick transition over from fame. Once this starts to get set up. One last time through is that one-on-one -on, -one on the flank. That was Afro and Scraps. You could potentially have that again. Wrap it out. Yeah, with all that B pressure, you can see what this does. Minnesota Rocker have to have three players on this side of the map. That opens up A. So a seam with Deddy. Playing his life. Went. Able to find the first blood. Now it was just finesse time, but it's Cammy. Throwing a couple of Yeah, snakes. I thought he was maybe going to pick a corner and sort of play his life, try to find nah, somebody. Nah, well you got Deddy out. Pops, you're just yeah. hitting everything. Yeah, it's he a just, superpower. He just flies in, but yeah, after the reset, I thought he might take a breath for a moment. Can't get the bomb down either, so this is great for Rocker. Because you're thinking, behind that Asim play, you're going to get the bomb planted, but now you have a full flank. Bance gives them the numbers. A little bit awkward there at the doorway, oh, but the shot's not awkward. Crisp. And that's just something I, I feel like if I'm a CM, I'm like, what the heck happened? Because you did everything right there the first 30, 45 seconds of the round if you are London. You basically, you know, you rotate all of the Minnesota Rocker players over towards mid and B. You win the first gunfight. You get first blood. Good info on two more. You're hoping that bomb gets planted. That bomb has to go down. That is all that round is about. I mean, you should basically have a three on one on the other side. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's the way those numbers work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm a sim, I'm like, well, well, I guess I was just focused on, you know, a seam's play that I, I didn't see what the delay was on the other end of it, at least early off the rotation. But yeah, maybe a hesitation that cost them. But it was four in a row for Yuli early on. Now it's Cammy that's up to five and two. Is he's going to pull off four? Wait, is that, is that the ace for Cammy? No, because I thought I thought oh, Bans got, got one on the flank. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they were they were all still had two kills. Sorry, a round prior. Slow round again. London playing very mid oriented. You do have Afro with Deddy popped, similar to what we just saw. A seem do last round. And well, there's going to be that first blood. How does how does he play it this time? Well, he's just gonna play that corner like you were talking about. Bans he continues his great series. We'll give them a four on two. They do hunt down Afro, but bomb planning. Can we just gonna back away? I thought maybe enough tags that the nade might finish him off, but not gonna be the case. Kami's gonna get back to full HP. Now on to Yuli. Right, good luck with gonna that. Gonna get dropped. But, but I think I, th I think it is tough though, like when you like going back to sort of how you saw Afro play it and how you saw Seam play it, because I think sometimes it's not even just a not just a deady thing, but the sense of like you get a kill, you know where players are, you're thinking once you get the kill they're gonna run at you, and it's like oh. I catch a timing and catch one, but unfortunately the timing he got was both still on the heading. Oh, like it's the same it's as like what we see in respawns. I mean, if someone's going off with Deddy, that's they're getting a lot of timings going their way. Yeah, yeah. Like he's just hoping he gets one instead of them being snaking behind it. Like they're flying towards the doorway. But yeah, it's just it's tough. You have to get a, get a feel within the map. But it's now what after a 2-0 start there from. Ravens, you got three in a row for Rocker. Cami now up to five straight. Bans two in a row, continuing his solid series. Stun check for info bottom bed. Right. Yeah, a little bit more of a standard round. You still have Bans playing safety net over towards B. Wallbangs coming in. London just playing very patiently. They want to work this A site. There's just so much glass on the ground. It'd be very dangerous to run around here, Joe. No, it would, yeah. No, they have uh, protective boots. Oh. So they're okay. With the built-in dead sound speakers, yeah. 3v4 now for Ravens. Still on the other side of the map. I'm just looking at a seam in bands. What are those timings going to be like? Mm -hmm. Nasty trying to get this plant down. Let's try again. Oh! 
try it to, but hey, you buy enough time, but Afro is there <laughs> to at least find Nasty. So now into a two on two. But I think Bantz is gonna win the round here. He is on the flank. Should have this player, and he does. Him and Asim were just missing each other by a couple of couple of moments. Asim, just no time. Bantz is gonna know it. He should peace out, and he uh, does. Hell of a gunfight win there, though. But <laughs> yeah, it's looking not, good. Not gonna matter. And yeah, Nasty's just. He's trying so hard to get it down. I thought when Scraps got the kill, like, looking over him, that that might be good enough. But it was what, Afro, I think, that got a couple bullets into finish Nasty off on the plant. Yeah, what's what's crazy, too, is after you get that kill on that player luggage side, you can dive that bomb across so that player bottom bed can't see you. So maybe just overthinking it a little bit there. To get that bomb down. But doesn't happen, then Bant's worse that flank. Well, I wonder if it's something like when we swapped POVs, like Nasty kind of took the shots, didn't rely on scraps to get the kill, and then just kind of opened himself up to the other angle type thing. That sounds smart. I believe it. Could have been real dumb too, but Joe, try my best. 4-2 now for Rocker. Four straight. And again, Vance has worked his way up towards couches. This time, though, they're going to watch that angle. Very close to Deddy, but just going to back away and play his life. Gets across, gets stunned. Need will back him up though and make sure he's not getting chased for the time being. See at number eight and Cami lurking towards mid. Might be able to get some eyes on players rotating across. Gonna be a seam that's gonna be the first guy up. So Cami here, there's eyes onto one. Trigger discipline, it's there. Nice job. Making sure he waits to take the shot so he knows he can finish the kill. And yet, again, with that, Bance is now lurked up. Afro able to find that pinch. So this is what, gonna be five rounds in a row. I mean, just stepping it up here. Does Rocker as they take command of this series. Yeah, they are dominating after those couple of rounds. The adjustments have been there. The flanks have been well-timed. Insight, I think I saw him behind. I was gonna say taking notes, but pro probably not. <laughs> I saw him walk by in the background, let's see. Former teammates there, a couple of the guys. Yeah, it's just where they're scrimming, so they're just like, hey, what's yeah. going on in the match? No, it's cool, man. It's everything, again, set up very, it's it's just tight in there, and, like, it, it's a nice intimate setting. Players just talking, <laughs> BSing. It's been uh, it's been fun to see those guys interact. Bance on four in a row now. He's the six and three, so maybe he's about to get that first positive series. So far, so good. Within these first two maps, so one more round here for Rocker. We'll see if they can find the first blood to take advantage early. All right, London finally able to get this bomb down, but it's going to be a four-on-four four retake, and Rocker are going quick. Real quick, real quick. Afro able to find that first blood. It seems like, uh-oh, I was watching the full pinch. Was able to find the Afro, but does he know Bantz is there? Bantz is just lurked into this corner. He's obviously going to have to come out so they can work this retake. Able to win one. Plays his life, now has the help of his duo and Cammy. Two versus two. 20 seconds to go. Fast plant from Ravens. Could it be the difference? Cammy able to push on forward. Cammy, Bantz, looking to get it done. Last alive will be Yuli. Need's gonna be out. Oh, it's a good up. one. That'll connect. Cammy is gone. Time has dwindled. The clutch there from Ravens to stay alive in the map too. <sighs> Nicely done on a Bantz and Cammy to almost clutch that out, but he holds on to the nade. You got a little bit more of a standard round there from London. You get Yuli across the bomb planted quickly. Well, it's like the quick plan puts the pressure on him, but it's such a quick hit at the retake there <laughs> that you get a shot if you're a rocker to get it done. But and it was awful timing for a seam because he's watching the full. P he, he, you know, he was main desk, but he backs away. He's looking at, you know, the full pinch backstairs. And just nice. I mean, it's a simple thing, but just nice nade. Like to just that's the play you go for. You put it right in between both. You know the time you're playing with on the clock. Even if it doesn't stick and it just hits, you know, you got to peek and hit a bullet, probably. Yeah, that's where it gets dangerous, though, because they're both teams shooting you in this game. Yeah, yeah. Big first blood now for London. They are rallying now. Is it going to be too little too late, though? They're bringing it back within this one, but after getting into the 5-2 hole, we saw a 2-5 comeback, though, earlier today in that Mutineers Legion match, so... Certainly not impossible, just improbable. That yeah, doesn't have Daddy to work with. That B-bomb is open. I mean, Asim has no info on it. 
bomb, even if he plants B. Plenty of time for all three players to just, well, run at this bomb. Yeah, I mean, just don't give him one untradeable kill for free and let him get into a 1v2. You there's, a be all right. one, there's lots of different doorways. Just hit all of them. Yep. And I like this. He's going to go for early chow. Try to... That would have been that Bins kill. He gets that and gets out clean. That's that one-on-one -on -one you needed. He just couldn't quite win it. That might have been worst case for Ravens within this, but now you hit uh, every doorway. And this will be the push. And nice, ooh, nice shots and nice snap, but regardless, the third win would have been able to pick him up. Only way that goes wrong is if he has gun scraps to sleep in the first fight. Yeah, nice discipline out of scraps too. Just backs down, doesn't get caught, waits for a seam to work the pinch. They're able to play that retake, but yeah, London, Nice round there to find those early kills. Nice play though, but like you said from Bay, I mean, try to take a fight right away. Just couldn't quite win it. He had such a nice stretch from Rocker to nearly put this away. But here we are now, two in a row for London, up one round. Are we going to a round 11? Oh, Daddy out for my really quick here round go. here. That is a bad stun. Oh, God, it's going to be a bloodbath. Hey, it works out. It works out. I thought the team stun was going to come in, but there we go. It's been all around these beast skirmishes throughout this map. Fame, though, able to make this into a two on three. Now you have Afro working the pinch. Able to Bom catch you on it. Bomb didn't go down. Bomb did not go down. Oh! Rinses him. Now I want to see him. Daddy out. Tucked in the corner and Afro with the plays. They close out the round. They get the dub. I, I thought London had that to around 11. Yeah, and these are the, the rounds with a, a newer roster that's changing all the time. Those sort of three on two situations. They have to be cleaner. And you can just tell, just not on the same page for London. In a couple of those rounds throughout that map, I mean, they were able to bring it back, but Minnesota, they clutch on up from a nice, what, two on four out of fame? An Afro. Is that all four players with eight? Yeah. That's a team game. Well, I mean, that's what it looked like even early. 